Hello travelers! We are currently getting ready for dinner. This is our first night in Westport, Ireland and today is my birthday. So we're going to go try to find something fun to eat for dinner. So that's kind of what we're dressing up for. That's kind of what we're getting ready for. We're going to go look around the town, kind of see what's going on um, and just have a chill night because it is our first night here. We're quite tired but I still want to celebrate my birthday. So on we go to dinner. Guys, Westport is the cutest little town. There's so many different colors and stores and things like that. It is truly so, so cute. It's got like a mint leaf on top. All right, friends, we are back from dinner. We're going to go ahead and call it an early night because, again, it is our first day here in Ireland at this time, and we are tired. We haven't really slept in about 24 hours, um, and we have a lot going on tomorrow that I can't wait to show you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight, and I'll talk to you in the morning. Good morning, travelers. We are heading out for the day. So sorry that this road is so bumpy. Um, that's Irish roads for you. But we are heading out for the day. We are going to a bunch of really cool spots to go hiking um, and see the ocean and just like really see the Irish coast in this area. So I'm really excited and I can't wait to show you guys where we're going. Our first stop of the day is Down Patrick Head, which is a place where amazing nature and history collide. It is considered to be a heritage site as St. Patrick founded a church here. And as we all know, St. Patrick is the patron saint of Ireland, so it's a very important site. But the natural beauty of the area is just so wonderful. There are many birds and a beautiful view over the water and the grass is like really cool. It's like puffy green clouds. It was quite fun to walk on, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but obviously the really beautiful thing is the sea stack that is in the water. It is said that the sea stack broke off of the mainland in the 1300s and people actually had to be rescued from it because they had houses on top of there. So that's pretty cool. All right guys, we made it to our second stop, which is Kaja Fields. Um, this is supposed to be a Neolithic prehistoric site. Um, so I'm really hoping we find some history out here about the area, the land, and learn a little bit more about the flora and fauna. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. I highly suggest stopping at Kaja Fields as it was an excellent way to learn about the people who once inhabited this land. Kaja Fields is considered to be one of the oldest known field systems in the world, where remains of old stone walls were found and they were once used for farming. Okay, travelers, we are at our next stop, which is the Eris Head Loop. And I'm so excited because the sun is trying to come out and it is so beautiful and it is quite windy. So I wanted to just say hello, tell you guys where we're going before we head out into the wind. But this is basically like a walk, a hike along the water, along some beautiful cliffs. So I'll definitely show you guys what we were looking at along the way. Um, but I'm excited to get outside and explore.
When we arrived at Eris Head, we didn't expect to have the entire loop walk to ourselves, but we did, and it was absolutely magical. The only trail buddies we had were lots and lots of sheep. This walk is 5 kilometers or 3.1 miles long, and the views are absolutely incredible. It really felt so special to have this entire place to ourselves. I just couldn't believe it the entire time. You have to absolutely put this on your list if you are in County Mayo. Trust me, it's beautiful. windy we just came from down there and this view is amazing you guys have to put this on your list if you're in county mayo Hello everyone, we are back at the hotel after our day exploring, so we are so hungry, so we're just going to clean up really quickly, go out to eat, we're going to somewhere extremely casual tonight called Blue Thunder, um, I'm really excited because I'm starving and it's been a minute since we've been eating any snacks, <laughs> so my belly is hungry, but um, the rest of the night is looking like just relaxing and then getting ready for tomorrow after we eat dinner. So come on, let's go get something to eat. French fries and chicken tendies. Yeah. All right, friends, we are back at the hotel after dinner. We are going to chill out for the rest of the night and get ready for tomorrow, which is another day in County Mayo. We're so excited to get up and do some more adventures tomorrow. I think you guys will really like what we're doing tomorrow. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for tomorrow, and I am going to go ahead and call it a night. Good night!